I told you yesterday that I had to do my check-in today, so I brought my lovely assistant with me. Ta-da! And he's going to show you how I measure in, um, and I do this once a week because I am in preparation mode. So the first thing we're going to do is I have a log that I keep track of and the different body parts that I measure and then every week where I'm at so that way I can get a gauge on if I'm going up, if I'm losing and all that good stuff. So the first thing we're going to measure is the chest. So you do so and you want to go right under the booby line and you try not to hold your breath or anything like that. Um, that way you can get a realistic measurement because if you breathe in as they're measuring, it'll actually puff you up a little bit and you don't want a larger number than what you actually are. The next one we're going to do is the belly. I always do over the belly button area um, just so that way I have an exact location. Otherwise, when you're doing your measurements, sometimes they'll be off a little bit. make him re-measure that one because that one was not. Twenty-six inches. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> you gotta make sure you go over the small area there because if you go, sometimes I go a little high and then you'll start to bring in the lats so you gotta make sure you stay because right we had a half an inch of variation. So this is another good reason why it's important that you kind of pick a focal area so you can always make sure you're in the same exact location to measure. Half an inch would be a lot to change in one, one week. Yeah. Um, the next one we're going to do is the hips. It's just as it sounds. It's going to go right across. So I'm just going to lower my pants just a hair. Darn, right? <laughs> I don't usually have a whole lot of variation on my hips at all. I don't know how I could really get a whole lot smaller either. 28 Okay, so I just went a little smaller. Not by much though. Right now the booty. The best part, the butt. This is the part I want to go up. <laughs> so it's going to be over the largest part. So you line it up on the front part of your pelvic bone area, and then you go across the biggest part of your butt. 35 and a quarter. Yes, and we have a little bit of growth, so that's a good thing. <clears throat> Only a quarter, but I'll take that. It's games. The next one we do is a thigh. I'm lucky, and I have a cute little beauty mark, is what I call it, better known as a mole. <laughs> and so. I always have him just go over that same exact mole every time, that way again, so I always know exactly where it's at. So try to find it, if, it, if you have something like that that you can do, go for it. 20.5. And I haven't had a whole lot of movement on that in a while. The next one is the calf, again, I always do it on the same exact leg every time. Um, you want to make sure that you're flat footed on it, you're not flexing, and you just go over the fattest part of the calf muscle. And the last one is the bicep. This is the only one that really varies on me. Although your calf has gone up and stayed up. Yeah, haven't shrunk, so that's a good thing. This one I cramp that because I try to go really big. Ready? 12.25. Ah, okay, I didn't shrink. Yes, that's another win. <laughs> um. When you're on a low calorie deficit, sometimes you're going to be losing muscle mass, which is why you want to lift heavy, is just because of that plantable fact, you're going to start losing some of that muscle. So you want to try to maintain it. So anytime I can maintain my biceps and stuff, I'm excited. So we're done with uh, the actual measuring aspect of it, so now we're going to use calipers. What we do is the seven-fold skin test, and we'll show you the website that we use. And we use the same website every time to calculate it for us. Um, again, that way you know that your numbers are always going to be calculated the same. Now, calipers aren't the best way to do this by any means, but I'm not going to go to a dunk tank every week and try to figure out what my body fat percentage is. That's just not realistic. So he's doing the tricep. Tricep has not really changed a whole lot in a month now. It's been sitting at 12, which that's a win for me because this is where I normally carry it. Um, we started at like 18. 
That's what I was actually fixing to go back to, yeah. I was at 20 on my tricep when I first started this back in January. So to be down to 12, I'm excited about that and I'll take it. I'd like to get a little bit leaner because I still think I have a little bit left that I can lose back there. But for right now, I'm not going to complain. We're still sitting there. It hasn't gone up. The next one is the chest. The chest is going to... Oh, I forgot to tell them on the tricep, you want to do it about halfway down on the fatty part in the back. And again, you want to stay relaxed when you do it. The Four. That one hasn't changed either. The tricep technically is like right here. Relax, yeah. It's right there. That's the meaty part. Right below the shoulder and right before the actual tricep muscle, that's where the fat is. And that's where you want to check it. The chest, again, is just going to be right over here. Again, I don't have a whole lot there. To, the core is pretty low. It's basically just skin. The last one, or the next one we're going to do is the belly. So, the belly, I'm not really crazy about. But you measure about, um, the way I was smart to mm -hmm. myself. You measure over an inch over onto the side of your belly. I always go on the right. And then you're going to go whoop, and flip it. Long ways. Five. We've been stuck at five for a while now. I don't think that's going to change anytime in the near future. The last one, Next my nemesis, is, yeah, it's not the last one, is it? My thigh. I hate the thigh. It hurts. Absolutely hurts. There you go. Long. It's up and down mid thigh. Oh, it looks thinner. Well. So I went from 15 last week to 12 this week. That deserves a high five. Wow. Bam. 21 day fix extreme. <laughs> I did it once. <laughs> that one pile workout, dang it. Wow, <laughs> that's great. That's a huge improvement again. Um, 12 is like, uh, that's really ecstatic for me. I'm excited. I started out at 21 in January. So 21 down to 12, I am thrilled, and that's like my hardest place to lose is on my legs. They don't want to seem thin up, and that's where one of my things for my critiques are is I need to tighten up a bit, so I'm excited. Um, shoulders. So... It's going to be a long way, right along this shoulder blade line, right back here. Six. Where have we been? Same spot. Haven't been moving. And the um, the rib, the surplaic, this one won't ever change either. Again, this one's going to be like your love handle area. And she just has skin here. <laughs> so it's like a four. Maybe a three. Four. Which That's is where we've been. We've been kind of a three, four area for a while now. I don't think I've had a whole lot of movement at all. That's where I was to begin with, so nothing there. And then the very last location is your riblet. So. This is different on guys and girls. Guys, you're going to want to go up and down, like long ways this way. For females, we go the opposite direction. I don't know why. So we've already pre-programmed like her age, her weight, right to today, right before we did this, 121. So her chest measurement was a 6. Her ab measurement was a five. No, my chest was four. Ch oh, I'm sorry. And then my belly was five. I can't find, there we go. Can't find the cursor. Four. Abdomen is a five. Yeah. Thigh was a 12. Oh, that's huge. Tricep, uh, 12. 12. Su subscapular. Four. Supralic, four. Mm-hmm. And then the mid axillary was a four as well, right? Uh, four. That's the rib. Okay. So then we're just going to hit this uh, calculate button. And you'll see her body fat percentage is the lowest it's ever been, down to 11.48%. Oh, wait, no, the shoulder six, not four. Oh, which one is the shoulder? Subscapular. Sub. That'll change it. So let's recalculate. So it's still the lowest it's ever been because it's never been below 12. Okay, so I'm at 11.84 percent body fat. Her she only has 14 pounds of fat on her entire body, 
and her lean body weight is 106.67. The name of the website, I don't know if you can see it in the video or not, but it's free-online-calculator-use.com. So that's quite a bit to remember. Sure. And maybe we'll put the website um, on the actual thing so that way you can see where we went for it. Yeah, I'll put the link in the uh, description box below.